Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Investigators reaching out for help in a homicide investigation. This is what Jesse James Byers looked like within 24 hours of him being murdered. The Genesee County Sheriff revealed new details today in the shocking murder that occurred in Atlas Township. Just hours before his death over the weekend, Byers was at Outdoor Adventures in Richfield Township, where this picture was taken. Sheriff Chris Swanson is now asking for any tips or clues from the public. Something caught your eye. You may think it's not a big deal, but in cases like these, it is a big deal. The sheriff says Jesse was living with a form of autism called Asperger's and had a learning disability. And he says at the murder scene on a family member's property, there were no signs of a struggle. An 18-year-old man arrested in a deadly hit and run in Huron County. The sheriff says Hunter Dubs from Owendale is accused of hitting 67-year-old Linda Shaw with his vehicle on Monday night while she was walking on Campbell Road in Chandler Township. The driver turned himself in last night in Caseville after deputies received a tip that led to a warrant for his arrest. Dubs is charged with two felonies, failing to stop at an accident resulting in death and tampering with evidence. The closure of M46 Gratiot Avenue in Saginaw has now been extended through the weekend as emergency repairs to water lines continue. The closure runs from Michigan Avenue in Old Town Saginaw west to Center Road in Saginaw Township. MDOT says Gratiot Avenue is now expected to reopen to traffic on Monday at 5 p.m. The extension is due to delays caused by weather and material availability. And now here's Brian with your forecast. Thanks very much, David. Heading into the weekend, we are finally going to see our skies brighten up again as we get this yet another slow moving storm system to finally clear on out of the picture. For now, though, we got to hang in there a little bit longer. Plenty of cloud coverage across the state. That's going to stay in place tonight, along with this now again stalled frontal boundary over the southern border of the state. That'll hang in place just for the overnight period, allowing this small area of low pressure near Chicago to work its way off toward the southeast. Eventually, when that clears out, it's going to free up high pressure over Wisconsin and the Upper Peninsula to park directly overhead starting tomorrow, bringing us sunshine back into the skies, getting the showers out of here and just generally lending itself to a nice pleasant start to the weekend. Hour by hour forecast in the meantime shakes out like this couple of isolated sprinkles, nuisance rain continuing to kind of focus on parts of the I-69 corridor, but it looks like through at least the early evening hours, we're going to get a bit of a break from that. Some of those will begin to filter back in around Flynn, Tawasso, Swartz Creek, maybe even over toward places like Ashley and Chessening by about midnight. One last little push of showers will try to build north during the overnight period, but very little chance of it having any significant success. And then more importantly, by the time we're waking up tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., we got mostly sunny skies for just about everybody. Maybe some lingering clouds in parts of the thumb as the last backside of this system works its way out of the picture. Midday, looking fantastic. If you don't get the sun outright to start, you'll have it by midday, and then it sticks around from there. 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, picture perfect weather for outdoor activities, yard work, whatever you have going on for your Saturday. Good uh, evening to take dinner outside for our Saturday night as well. 9 p.m., no major change, clear skies. They stay that way into the overnight period tomorrow, and we get to enjoy another bright sunny day during the second half of the weekend. So for tonight, 61 is your overnight low temp, also trending a little bit on the cooler side with scattered showers predominantly south of the Tri-Cities, but those will tend to diminish during the overnight period with mostly cloudy skies otherwise. 79, complete about face as we head on into tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, and uh, as we uh, said, those uh, comfortable 70s coming along with lower levels of humidity and Mother Nature just really having good timing this week. Mostly sunny, a little bit warmer on Sunday, 84, up to 86 on Monday with more sunshine. Chances for showers and storms will resume for the midsection of next week yet again, but this time around they look to be much more isolated and we'll see some back and forth between high temperatures in the 70s and low to mid 80s. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.